is New Day Northwest. Now, here's Margaret Larson. First up on this New Day, we have a new furry, feathery, spiky set of friends backstage waiting to say hello to everyone. Here to show us from Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium is staff biologist Adrian Umstead. Welcome back. Nigel, tell us about Nigel. Well, Nigel is a prehensile tailed porcupine, and that prehensile tail means that this long, awesome tail he has can actually grip onto the branches when he's climbing around. So, can he hang so, upside down, or he just uses that for grip? He can hang upside down. Generally, he still wants to hold on with a foot here or there for, you know, safety. Yep. His but. face is so cute. He I has have no a, idea. He is a very handsome guy, isn't he? He is handsome. How much does he weigh and what does he eat? Um, he weighs around 13 pounds or so, and they're an herbivore, so they just eat leaves, they'll eat fruit, they eat seeds, they'll eat the bark off trees Excellent. even as well. Sort of that Mediterranean diet that we're all supposed <laughs> yeah. to be on, so that's good. Yep. And how long do they live? Um, they'll live to, you know, their mid-teens or so, but he is, uh, he's one of my favorite animals. Yeah. and, and our. Come? Um, he's just a lot of fun to work with, and he's very handsome, as we've talked about. <laughs> and he's got that cool prehensile he's tail, and cool that is tail. one of the things that he demonstrates in our Wild Wonders Outdoor Theater Show. So when we come to see it, we can see him climb, we can sort of find out more about him. Where does where does he live? He, he and his peeps, where are his peeps from? Um, they're found in <gasps> Central and South America, and they live in the rainforest. Trees are a pretty important part of their life, so they spend a lot of time up in the trees climbing around, but they also have these awesome quills for protection just like our North American porcupines do. He's got these tiny little ears. <laughs> he does have um, tiny little yeah, ears. Can, now can I touch him if I pet him you the right You can certainly way? touch him. You want to go shoulders down to his tail. Okay. And one common myth that we, we like to dispel myths is, is about this porcupines. Is further instruction or no, may I no, proceed? Okay. Just as you're going there. Um, I was going to mention Ooh. a lot of people think porcupines can shoot their quills but that's not true. Quills are just modified hair. So just like none of you are going around shooting quills out of your head. Porcupine's not shooting quills out Who of him. Who says so. we don't or do shooting that. hair out of your um, head. So what, what do the quills do for for him? Well, they're great protection. They have little barbs on the end that get they stuck in the, in the skin and uh, come easily out of him, but they can also help him make help him look bigger. Can you see so. his nose? His nose is like a manatee. He's yeah, you're welcome to, with nose? the back of your finger, you can That's brush it just lightly. <gasps> it's there you like go. velvet. It's the softest oh, look at these, part of it. Look at the quills. Did you see he that? Says, you smell unusual. Yes, I do. I get that another a lot. Yummy no, I'm treat there for being but such a good boy. But when he's startled, his, he does, he puffs yeah, he up to sort of new, say. a new smell, new person. So he's just going, I'm not sure. But you know, he was calm about it. It's my hand lotion. I should have, I probably should have forgotten about that. So, and then he has little fingers on his on his Yeah, front. he can grip the branches really well with feet, those feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are amazing. Yeah. Quite, quite interesting. All right, shall we go go to yeah, our next so, amazing yeah, animal? Yeah, Maureen's going to come out and grab Nigel away. Thank and you. I'm actually going to sneak under the table here and pull out our next animal who is probably going to be surprising, but he is a lot of fun. This is the funky chicken we <laughs> promised you. <laughs> so this is Bach, and he is kind of one of uh, just everyone's he favorite animals down at Wild Wonders because he is such a fun chicken. Oh, where do you think you're going <laughs> there, chicken. Mr. Bach? <laughs> You know, I don't think anybody's ever and said to me, he's a fun chicken. <laughs> and now we know. So we've got corn. What yeah, else is this? Yeah, have, we have some Grapes. corn. These are his favorite treats. He's got corn. He's got blueberries. He's even got some mealworms He's got a little mealworm. Yeah, yeah, very popular. So, yeah, I was hoping he was going to just kind of hang out and eat some treats. But he's, I think maybe he sees himself in the, in the camera oh, over there. Noises. Let's see if we can hear but him. I'll get my a, mic close. He's Hold on just a second. Oh, do you want to talk, talk Bach? To oh, no. I guess he's going to be quiet. Come on, Bach. How's it going? Well, he's well, so fluffy. Yeah, he's I've never kind of seen such a thing. Some of our comic relief Whoop, because he, a mealworm. he is a, a frizzle, which refers to the ways those feathers lay. But um, we also have some other types of chickens. He's a Cochin. We also have Polish chickens. They race across the stage, and oh, they I are so it. much fun. So I love it. They're kind of our comic relief for the show, or some of our comic relief. We have plenty. We've got stuff for everyone in the show. There's lots of fun stuff for kids, but we do add some fun um, jokes in well, there as amazing. well. So where is he native to? <clears throat> to well, me. chicken. He is a domestic chicken, yeah. so he's a type of chicken that you he's know, running you, out of snacks. By the way, that's the last piece of corn. Snacks. He's like, yes, yeah, boy, like and, this, like, um, like I do when I'm chicken, running out of trail mix. Bring it on. <laughs> have some more. Chickens are about to all kind of come this from way. the red, red jungle fowl. Here we go. Um, and there's lots of different breeds of chickens. 
But, he um, is amazing. And so do the females look like this too? Are they super fluffy? Yeah, yeah the females would look the same, but they don't have this funny comb right. on their head. Right. That's that's a really easy way to that's tell the, that I'm he a guy. is a rooster. Yeah. Okay, yeah. terrific. So very but, nicely done. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> He's you, just, you're getting a little bit brave there, there Mr. Bob. You can safe. He can go wherever. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to see him? He can come out there. Yeah, he Anybody does, got he does born? come out on his own doing the show. And um, he actually has a very special routine. He kind of opens the show. He plunges down some TNT to get the show started off what? with a bang. How about uh, that? Which is a lot of fun because our show is in Triple R <gasps> Town. <Yay! laughs> And it's uh, we like to encourage people to think about reduce, reducing, reusing, and recycling. So we give mm -hmm. them lots of different options on how to reduce their waste, cut down on uh, those single-use plastic items. So take your grocery bags with you to the grocery store, or maybe say no thank you to the plastic straw when right. you go to yeah, uh, exactly. when you go out to eat or. You know. I love his look when he's when he finishes his snacks. He looks at you and he <laughs> like tilts his head like, uh, "What up with that? Let's have some more." Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's put him away. All right. And yeah. Now, we definitely want to tuck him away for I think, our next um, animal. Anim animal number three. I'm not supposed to touch, right? Correct. Because the, yeah. He's gonna let me get this guy all the way away. So coming out next with Maureen is Jasper. Jasper and is gorgeous. Jasper is a Canada lynx. He says, "Ooh, this smells like chicken." <laughs> 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 he's not interested in the corn. He's looking for the chicken. No, but now, he's he's an amazing animal to have in our show because believe it or not, we do have Canada lynx that live right here in Washington. Do we? Now, if I saw him from a distance, I might think that was a bobcat. That is a super common mistake. So another another thing um, with them, if you take a look at those paws, those are big paws. They have giant paws. So uh, lynx live where it is snowy much of the year. Okay. So here in Washington, they have small populations up in the North Cascades and the northeastern part of the state. They've got those big paws, and then they live into Canada and Alaska as well. So, so we wouldn't those see big... them unless we went looking for them for the most part. Yeah, right? and in the wild, they are pretty elusive. And you know, due to just um, logging and road building, yeah. uh, development in general, and a lot of those fires we've Let's had. Let's around this way if we can, so he can look at the, uh, or the camera can look the at the chicken him, here. So he can look at the chicken. <laughs> yeah, you'll follow the treats, so, so why? Fires we've had as well have actually taken away a lot of their habitat. Right. So here in Washington, they're actually within the state of Washington, they are an endangered animal. So we're really happy to have him as part of yeah. our program because he's Isn't one of he the most amazing? endangered mammals in the lower 48. Wow, so if we should happen to be hiking or something and we see one, stay away. Stay away, but Please don't bother them. more likely, He's going to stay away from He's you. Gonna He's going to hear you, yeah. smell you. But uh, we have had Jasper since he was just uh, five weeks old. He was born at another zoo, and we have put so much work. He's looking, he's looking very calm and and well put together here with Maureen on his leash and his collar. He is definitely not a good pet. There's a lot of work that's gone into <laughs> um, making him very comfortable and making this look as easy as it right. does. So just out of curiosity, and I'm not going to touch him, but if somebody touches him who he's not expecting or is unfamiliar with, what's the behavior that that um, you know, he he's got all of his teeth. He's got all of his claws. So yep. just like you would twice. expect any cat to react to something yeah. they're not expecting or something they're afraid of, he would do the same. So it's Maureen's job since she's handling him to just keep an eye on him. Maureen make is sure. good with all of these animals. <laughs> always has been for years as, as you've come forward. Make, and how much does he weigh? Uh, he is around 30 pounds, I believe. How old so will he get? He will get hopefully into his mid-teens or so. You know, it varies a little bit, but at and the eats zoo, a little bit probably. of everything or mainly meat? Um, here, uh, pretty What's much meat. Today? I don't know. He's getting some chicken. That was a piece of chicken oh. right there. We also have some meat. I don't know. Our funky chicken could be in danger. <laughs> Let's make sure that we, uh, we keep them She apart. may also be feeding him some, it, what's basically steak. We call it chunk meat. Mm -hmm. But um, the bulk of his diet is actually a ground up meat that uh, is just difficult to handle, so we like that cut up stuff well, to handle with them gorgeous. here and on stage as well. Uh, thank you so much. We always Hi, I'm her. not going to touch you, <laughs> but I'm going to look at you. Those are beautiful eyes. Uh, you guys do amazing shows. You really help thank us you. learn and our kids learn about the, the that's what we hope Habitat to do. and nature and protecting animals. So remember, you can catch Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium's Wild Wonders Outdoor Theater, which reopens this Saturday, May 12th. The show runs all summer and we'll post a schedule link on New Day's website. I promise you'll enjoy it no matter what your age. Thank you so much. Thank you. We had a backup. Uh, what did we have? A skunk? We just did in have case a skunk as a backup. With anybody? 
We had a stunt skunk. New Day's Wellness <laughs> Wednesday episode begins next with details on a viral disease making big headlines right now. We'll tell you more after this. Thank you.